Okay, we're having a power outage here at the ranch, so there's no, uh, uh, the pressure doesn't last too long after the power goes out. So we'll just test this in here, get a shower in, and see how I like this thing. Gonna have to bring an inverter back in here so I can get the fan going. But uh, let's just do a quick test. Water on low, gas on low. This is a high, this is like a maximum and low setting for the gas. So in the winter, you flip that over and you get more heat, which is nice because in the summertime, this can actually get too hot if the tank water is warm from the southern, summer, summer sun. Oh. Let's see, there's no uh, on off switch on this one, it just turns on. Definitely get it warm. Definitely got the fire. That is pretty cool. I like that. All right, cool. Looks like we're good. Oh, this works so much better than the last one. This touch shuts off a little bit sooner. Oh, uh, the uh, the eco temp would. Keep its flame on a little too long and hear the water start to boil and pop. It's kind of a freaky thing. I like it. That works good. A little temperature gauge is a nice touch. Oh, finally a shower. I need it bad. Let's go grab my old inverter and hook this fan back up. I can't run this too long without the vent going. A button. Twelve seven on those batteries. Pretty much full. Holding tank is not full. Water level half full. Good for a shower. Get the switch power over here. One, two. Yep. Doesn't like charging itself. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Finally take a shower. I've been putting this off far too long. Let's go grab my shower kit and get her done. Power's been out uh, for a good little while this time. This ranch always reminding me why RV living is best. This RV always has power. Never lets me down. Unless I forget to dewinterize de and break all the pipes. I love RV living. It took that huge headache of trying to buy property to realize that it was just... This is the best situation for someone like me. Kind of just fits fits very well. It's the time I accept it and embrace it. Don't know what this is. It's kind of interesting. I, don't, I can't tell if that's like a little trophy or what. It was. It's got like a sticky backing to it, and it's stuck to the bottom of the inside of the cabinet back there above the bed. Seven years that was in there. I never noticed it. Northwest Push Car Association, Portland, Oregon. Push Car. 40th anniversary. Frank Hilgers, 1991. South Sound. Push Car Association. Is that like ODOT? Looks cool. ODOT thing. Oh, pretty cool though. 1991. I love this water heater. I was using it on the normal or the without the boost. We turn it to the cold side to boost the heat. Worked really good without just normally. 
worked about as good as the last water heater, which uh, at full blast is just a little under where I like it because the tank, uh, the water in the holding tank is so cold, it's not heating it up very much. So I thought I'd switch over to the boost after turning this down. Of course it wasn't taking any chances. Glad I did because once I switched it over to the cold side, you could hear a second set of heaters kick on. You can hear them poof. And boy, the hot water started flowing. There's, I uh, I think this thing would probably do good in Alaska. Because on its lowest setting, it was about uh, the highest I like it with the booster on. So that worked out fantastic. I like this thing. All right, that worked out pretty good. And I love the on off button on that. That makes things, you know, it's super helpful for water saving. Uh, kind of cheap. On the cheap side, there's no selector. There's just uh, one stream set. I mean, there's just a holes drilled in a plate and this whole shower head is hollow. So it's kind of a pretty cheap shower head. All, also, all the holes are drilled at, you know, like they didn't get drilled straight, so they spray you know, a few degrees to the left. So, but uh, yeah, no, it worked out pretty good. I like the, uh, this is my favorite thing about this shower head. Okay, let's get back at it. 